There is a worthy fight going on in Tennessee, and those affiliates of ours and viewers of ours here in Tennessee, I want to encourage you, vote yes on Amendment 1, all right? The Tennessee Supreme Court ruled a few years back that child killing was a fundamental constitutional right under the Tennessee Constitution. Uh, some of the locals in Tennessee say that it went further than federal courts have gone. And because it is case law that we here in Tennessee need to change the ballot, or rather the state constitution. So here's what Amendment 1 says. And then I want to play for you the ad that the child killers are using on TV right now. Right? So here's what Amendment 1 says. Nothing in this constitution, that's the Tennessee constitution, secures or protects a right to abortion or requires the funding of an abortion. The people retain the right through their elected state representatives and state senators to enact, amend, or repeal statutes regarding abortion, including, but not limited to, circumstances of pregnancy which result from rape or incest or when necessary to save the life of the mother. There it is. It basically takes away the right of the state Supreme Court of Tennessee to say that this is an unfettered constitutional right and just says, look, the people hold the, the right, have the right through their state officials to change the law, okay? Nothing really earth shattering here. This isn't making child killing illegal, right? It's not defunding Planned Parenthood. It's just taking away the ability of a, of a minority who are unelected officials sitting on the state Supreme Court to be judicial dictators and tyrants, all right? It's pretty innocuous, all things considered. Now listen to this ad. Watch this ad and these phony ministers. Go ahead. In Tennessee, we try to live lives of faith, particularly in the most difficult times. But Amendment 1 would put government in the midst of our most personal and private decisions. Like what to do when a woman has been raped. Or a pregnant woman has been diagnosed with cancer. In truth, only families can make these decisions. And they do it in alignment with their own faith. And it is not for the rest of us to judge. Please vote no on Amendment 1. It goes too far. I would be very, very fearful for these people to face their maker. Very fearful for them. But notice that they lied. First of all, notice that they lied. All right? Nothing in this goes too far. It doesn't do anything. It just says that it's the right of the people to enact laws. That's all it says. But I'll go a step further. In alignment with their faith, and it's not for us to judge Excuse me? Whose faith allows you to butcher a baby? What is this, a faith from hell? I mean, these are, these are people who I'm, I'm guessing are baptized Christians who have become, in this, servants of Satan. And I'm calling out to all y'all. You're servants of Satan. You have blood on your hands. You have blood on your hands. There is no part of the Christian faith that allows you to butcher a baby. And yes, we are called to judge with righteous judgment. Okay, that's what the Bible says. Judge with righteous judgment. Defend the fatherless. Don't throw them into the hands of butchers in the name of Christianity. God have mercy on them.